for these five years uh, that uh, Kenya Kwanzaa is going to be in government, we want also the Kenyans uh, to give us an opportunity so that uh, we can be their government from 2027 to 2032. This will easily happen if we come together as a region and ensure that uh, the former prime minister, if he will run again, or the other members of the opposition, if they will feel a candidate for presidential in 2027, uh, we must ensure that uh, the areas that largely voted for them should be converted to vote for us, uh, to vote for the Kenya Kwanzaa government. That is why we, we, we are even uh, seducing our members of parliament from ODM, uh, most particularly from Kakamega County, to come so that we can strengthen Wetangula and Msalam. Mafuta ndio hiyo ime Ah oh, watu wenye wanatosha usuru Sijui mtu yuko na kamote Sijui yako na nini Ladies and gentlemen I said it here clear that If Ngoma County Kenya Kwanza candidates Are not going to sit And agree Who is going to take The seat of Moses Wetangula that was Left vacant when he was awarded the Speaker of National Assembly, I was not joking. But this guy, watch and say me kwamba, this is the time leaders from Luya Nation need to sit down and talk of 2027. If they continue being carried by William Samuel Ruto, then it means comes 2027, there will be no unity from the community. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Just in case you are here for the first time, I'm kindly requesting that you may take a moment, subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for the returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to support the content of this channel. This far, it's because of you. And I can see in few weeks, we will be fair far. Ladies and gentlemen, if leaders of a certain community at this time they have not seen the plans in Kenya Kwanza, then we might end up being ruled over 20 years. As you can see, there's a plan and there's a motion that's going to be debated in the National Assembly about the age limit of one to rule in this country under the presidential seat. Kimiriri MP Didimas Barasa has been behind William Samoy Ruto. And we know very well that he was elected under UDA ticket. Right now, Pungoma County, they are preparing to repress the position of Moses Wetangura, who is now the Speaker of the National Assembly. As they are preparing that, we have seen Kenya Kwanza has produced two candidates, that is Mwamba Maboga from UDA, and Fort Kenya has produced Wafula Wakoli. These two candidates, if they continue like that to the pilot, they're likely to fail and Wafula Wamunyinyi from DAP will carry the day. Guys, you know who is Moses Wetangura? Moses Wetangura has stood firm and he has said that he will not stop supporting Wafula Wakol from Ford Kenya to support Mwamba Maboga of UDA. 
at some point I can say that a Moses Wetangura is respected in Pungoma County and he controls the fort of Pungoma County. The forts William Samuel Ruto got from Pungoma County, it's because of Moses Wetangura. When Moses Wetangura dropped Raira Morodinga, definitely we knew that the people of Pungoma County will fought for William Samuel Ruto. And right now, William Samuel Ruto is the president of this country because of the faults he got from Pungoma County. If Pungoma people would have decided to vote for Raira Morodinga, then Kenyan people would have voted twice for the president seat. It's bad news to UDA and it's good news to people from Luya Nation. Didmas Barasa amekajini akaona kwamba enyewe hiki tutukiendelea kukaliwa hivi. This man will rule this country 20 years plus. Kitu ya mana kama Luya Nation what we need is unity. And for us to acquire unity in Luya Nation, we have to come together. It doesn't matter that I'm a member or I was elected under UDA ticket. I will support Wafula Wakoli. He has traveled Pungoma County. He had listened to people and that's why he came up and said, I will support Wafula Wakoli and not Mwamba Maboga of UDA. Maybe there must be personal differences. But as I've said, Wafula Wakoli will win this election because of Moses Wetangula. The other day, we saw Bon Kalwale campaigning for Mwamba Maboga and talking against a Ford Kenya party leader, Moses Wetangura. And we saw that this one was to bring conflict between supporters of uh, Ford Kenya and those of UDA. But it's a blow to UDA since Didmas Barasa has thrown his support behind Wafula Wakoli. This thing has gone. Yesterday I saw it. If they continue like this, Wafula Wamunyinyo of DAP was to carry the day. Ladies and gentlemen, this politically means that Luya community wants to come together. In 2027, they will produce a candidate who is going to fight for the presidential seat in this country. And that's what Didmas Parasa is trying to bring out clear to people of Kenya that they are not going to support William Samoy Ruto. In 2027, they are going to come with a candidate and they are going to ask William Samoy Ruto to support the candidate that they are going to produce. They voted him, and it's time that in 2027, they will require William Samuel Ruto to support him. It's not going to be easy for William Samuel Ruto to go second term, the way Luya Nation have started. We don't know what's going to come from Mount Kenya. They're also going to sit down and produce a candidate whom they are going to support in 2027. Already we have seen Mutai Nguni has referred the person from Luo who is going to inherit from Raira Morodinga. They have said that after Raira Morodinga, 2027, James Orengo is going to take the ballot. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to form the basis of my next analysis. But for now, I want you to listen what Didmas Parasa said concerning 2027. And I have no doubts that in 2027, William Samuel Ruto is, going, is not going to get support from lawyer community. Even though the former Prime Minister Musaria Mudavad has already decided to support William Samuel Ruto two terms, Didmas Barasa has seen it a waste of time and if it continues like that, Luya Nation, they are not going to produce a president in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this analysis up to the end. Just listen what Didmas Barasa had to say. As marching from an election defeat, they should go back home to where they come from and ask the people who sent them home what went wrong. Uh, let, them, let, let, them, let them take leave, rectify uh, what went wrong that made their people uh, not to elect them. Uh, after that one is done, they can come back again in future and say that the people of Mumula felt that I was not qualified because of one, two, three, four, five things. I have worked on them. Now I'm a good person. They can now begin to ask for another, to seek for another position to go forward. In so far as uh, the Kenya Kwanza project is concerned, I said before that uh, the, the boundaries between Fort Kenya, UDA, and ANC, and the other affiliate parties are basically virtual. They are non existent. We are in one government, that's why uh, I can campaign for a full of quality freely. Uh, the president, who is my party leader of UDA, has not picked up his phone to tell me this is the direction. They know that uh, whatever we are doing today, we are in support of uh, all the party structures and machinery to move forward. Let's start with one. Yeah. Uh, you say you, you, are, you, you are supporting our fellow colleagues to strengthen the speaker, but you knew about all this, this argument before you, you, you went for election in 2022, in August. Why is it that you didn't uh, go for election as an MP to begin the for the Kenya ticket? Just to strengthen the speaker. When uh, we went for elections uh, in uh, just the uh, general elections, I campaigned for Senator Moses Wetangula. I had campaigned for Governor Ken Lusaka. So I was aware of that fact. Uh, I am not a member of a Fort Kenya party. I am a member of UDA party. UDA had given me a, a ticket to run for parliamentary for Kimiliri. And uh, this position for Senator belonged to Horobo Moses Wetangula, it belonged to Fort Kenya. We had uh, an ag a verbal agreement uh, during that time that uh, uh, we will not field a uh, Senator as UDA party and that we will not also field uh, you know, a Governor as UDA party. Uh, we supported uh, Ken Lusaka of uh, Fort Kenya, supported Wetangula of uh, Fort Kenya, and I am a gentleman. I am not about to renegade on whatever we agreed. And, uh, those UDA leaders who are supporting uh, Mwambuma Bonga, uh, they may be doing it as a business. You know, you can go to the president and say, no, we are campaigning for a candidate. Please give us some five million, give us some money to deliver this seat. And maybe when you are given that five million or whichever, or two or one million, of course, you know, uh, I'm not sure what percentage will remain in their pocket. But I can tell you, you are here. We're not going anywhere. I will come back here on, on, on 8th of December, on, uh, on 10th of December, and uh, tell you that uh, indeed I was very true. The Senator for Bungoma is a full accord.